okay welcome back now in this task we are going to take a look at how to create our own button for our design system okay so it's not going to be something very elaborate it's just going to be something that will be okay enough for the project we are currently working on okay but before that let's go ahead and import some of the icons that we are going to be using for this project and to import the icons i want you to click here okay click there and you want to go to this uh, community so click on community and once you click on community it should bring you to figma community and i want you to go ahead and type in hero icons okay so once you're on hero icons uh make sure it's the one that is uh by tailwind labs okay about 28.6 thousand uh people at, at the time of making this video so make sure you click on this particular one now it should open up like this and what i want you to do we just want to come here okay we don't need this so i'm just going to you know select this particular ones now another thing you should note when working with icons is that you should not mix different types you can see we have outline and we have solid you don't mix them when designing okay and another thing you don't do is to bring in two icons from different collections you don't do that so you have to maintain one for consistency so what i want to do now i want us to make use of this outline ones okay so i'm going to select everything here and once i select them i'm going to hit copy okay so once i copy i want to go back to my figma file and here let's come to our style guide right let's just put it right there let's come somewhere here and let's paste i'm going to paste that right in so you can see we've pasted it what I want to do next, and if you take a look at it, you can see they are all purple, right? That means they are components. So what I want to do next is to just select them and go ahead and change their colors. So right here where we have this cool gray, we want to choose our own gray. So when you are, uh, when you select multiple items like this, okay, if you want to change their color, you don't come to fill. Instead, you go to where you have selection colors, right? So from there, you can actually see the uniform colors there. And for this one, we want to click on this cool gray and we want to change it to our own gray 900. Great. So once you do that, the next thing you want to do is to put them in a frame. Okay, just draw a frame over them. And for this frame, we are going to call it icon. Now, if you now move to assets, you can see that we have those icons right there on that style guide if you open it up you can see the icons right there so with this out of the way let's go ahead and start creating our button but first and first before you create button so for the button let's move over to components okay let's move over to components now now before you start creating a button you have to agree on what you want to create and how the type of buttons you want right and from what we were meant to understand from the lesson earlier they are we have different types of button and for this we want to create um let me zoom in we want to create our primary button primary button okay i'm trying to zoom in okay primary button we want to have our secondary button and our outline or ghost button okay and for states we want to have the enabled states enabled states the hover states and the pressed states so these are the three states we want to have usually you can go ahead and say okay you want to add size right you want to add like small medium large extra large so you can explore that in a later uh we can explore that in a later class but right now this should be enough for what we want to achieve okay so we have just one button it's a mobile uh, it's a mobile app so we have one button and we have these three states okay so let's go ahead and click on our text tool and start creating our text so the first thing we want to type in let's type in button another thing that is very important again is for you to anticipate whether you'll be needing icon right or not you need to anticipate that so what i want to do here first 
is to go ahead and add this because this is a link okay i want to add this in its own frame so let me do shift a and i'm going to call this button uh, but a uh, text link okay and i want to make sure the padding here is zero that's the top and bottom and for the left and right i want to maintain that it right there okay then let's go ahead and bring in some icons so remember for the fonts for the fonts we are maintaining body regular and for our color instead of fff i want to go ahead and click here and select white right so that we are using the colors from the style guide so let me go ahead now to assets and once i'm in assets i want to go ahead and search let's search for arrow okay so let's pick this particular one let's scroll down scroll down let's pick this particular arrow drop it right here okay and let's pick another one let's pick this particular one or let's just search for user okay so i'm going to select this particular one and then drop it here so you can just drag and drop okay so for this you can see that they're actually a little bit big so i'm going to just hit k on my keyboard or you can come here and select scale and for this scale you can see i can go ahead and make it 16 okay and select these two hit k and make it 16 right there you know the size of the font is 16 okay mm -hmm. so i'm going to bring this just above here and drop this here then i'm going to select the three of them now uh, before that let me select these two and make the color white okay let's go up white now i'm going to select everything and i'm going to add them in an auto frame shift a now i've added them in an auto frame i want to go ahead and center it properly and i want to go ahead and start giving it color for the left and right pattern okay so for the horizontal pattern you want to put in a number here so i'm going to put in 32 and whatever number you use for the horizontal pattern should be half of what you are going to use for the vertical pattern so for the vertical pattern since i'm using 32 here i'm going to use 16 right here okay and for the space between i'm going to put it at zero reason is because i've already added space between for this uh, auto frame for that uh, text link okay so let's go ahead and call this button what i want to do now is to go ahead and give it a color so go to fill and then give it that 500 then for the corner radius we just want to go ahead and make it eight and voila so we have our button right here next thing we want to do now because it's a reusable component we want to go ahead and add and convert it to a component so select it come here and click on create component so we've created our button component here now after this there's something i want us to do so that this button can actually be very configurable okay you can easily set it so to do that all what you need to do is to we're going to convert all these things to like a button okay so if i come here now and drag this button here if i don't want this icon i have to manually click okay and maybe probably go ahead go to the layer and then find it and hide it but that is not optimal that is not the best way to do this right now so what i want to do is to go ahead and give uh, whoever is going to use this or to add some functionalities or control to this so to do that let me go back to the original button and i'm going to select this icon and under here where it says layer be careful so you don't click on this particular one this is instant swap not this where you have layer you want to click on this create boolean property and we can now call this right icon okay and then i can come back here select this and under layer i can give it create property i can call it left icon okay left icon and for this text once i select remember it's still an auto layout i want to go inside and make sure i select the text itself then i want to come here and change this create text property i want to call this label okay then click on create property awesome so with this now i've actually made this button to be more uh easy to use so if i select this instance you can see i now have this uh button here that i can easily you know hide this on it 
hide and also on it okay so the next thing we want to start doing now is to start creating these variation and i'm going to start first by creating the states okay so let's go ahead and click on this add variant remember you are selecting the original one let me delete this you're going to click on this one right here and we're going to click on add variant so click on add variant and right now instead of property i'm going to have states okay state and here i'm going to say hover for the first one i'm going to say enabled and then we are going to click on this again and click on the plus sign and for this we want to have pressed okay pressed awesome so all i need to do now is to make the changes right here so the changes we want to see this is where we are going to make them so for this particular one i'm going to select this and for remember to change all the colors you just have to scroll down to selection colors now for the hover state we want to go ahead and click on it and instead of 500 let's go ahead and choose 600 so when you hover you're going to see this sub to change this 600 and for the pressed state, we want to go ahead and change it to 700. So you can see we've created these three states. This is our enabled, hover, and pressed. So you can see we've created some form of, some, some sort of changes. So, so once I increase this, I want to select here and I want to add a new property, okay? So let me click on new property and I'll click on variant. And this property name, I'm going to call type okay for the default we are going to call primary and click on create property so right now if you look at here we have state and we have type let me just drag this up so we have type and we have state okay so for the type now let's select one two three and do ctrl d right and then bring it somewhere here and so i'm just going to select the three of them and under property under type i'm just going to choose add new and i'm going to call it secondary enter now i'm going to select each of them enabled okay hover and then we have pressed and then i'm going to repeat this process ctrl d okay let's just move it away right here okay so i'm going to select this now select the three of them select these three okay and under this i'm going to add add new again and i'm going to call this outline okay and when you take a look at them you have the outline there hover and the outline here pressed so the next thing i want to do now is to start changing the styling now for our secondary button i want us to click select it and once you select it you want to come down here where you have this um, white where you have this blue background, we want to go ahead and make it this uh, primary red, uh, sorry, primary 50. And for the white, we want to go ahead and make it that 500. So this is what we want for our um, primary button. So for the hover state, when you hover for the background, we want to move to 100. And for the white, that's the text color, we want to maintain 500, okay? And when pressed, we obviously want to use the same thing right here, okay? So we want to use the same thing when pressed. So let's come back here and go ahead and choose that 50 right there, okay? And for the white, we want to go ahead and make it 500. So this is the styling we want for the secondary, okay? now for the outline we're going to select this now and for this color right here we don't need the color so we're going to click on minus okay then for the stroke we're going to add a stroke and we're going to change the color to 500 then everything inside here that's the white select it and also make it the 500 okay so right here for this particular one is basically the same thing we repeat here but we're going to use what it's the 600 we used for this particular one okay so let me click here and let's go ahead and delete that fill okay and then add a stroke 500 sorry 600 okay 600 and also come down to white and go down to 600 
then the next one is 700 right so i'm going to delete this field then come down to stroke add that one here 700 okay and this white to i want to take it to 700 voila so right now we've actually created our button component so these are the three buttons that we are going to be making use of for this project now if you go to your asset panel you're going to see the button right there and if you drag this out you can actually see all these properties you can change right icon you know off both icons or, in, uh, or you know switch uh, both icons on or right now you can just say okay we need only this right icon we don't need the left icon but the good thing now is that we now also have this type we can switch from type we can say okay what we want is the outline type and you can see it has given us the outline button or i can say okay i want the secondary button and right now you can see we have the secondary button right there and you can also go ahead and say okay i want the primary button but i want the uh, pressed state you can see you have that right there even from here you can now say okay what i want to put here is cta and then you have cta right there and you can see because of the auto layout it is adjusting automatically and that is it for this task see you in the next video